All right, next question. In the current structure of tithe and offering appropriation, 100% of the tithe go to the conference and very little is left to defray expenses of our small church. Mm -hmm. Is it a form of cheating if we declare only half of tithe in order to fund the basic church expenses of the other half of the actual tithe? <laughs> Listen to me carefully. The problem is not how the money is distributed. The problem is the selfishness of the heart of man. We don't give as much as we should. That's the problem. I'm not familiar with all the details of the tithing system. What I do know is the tithe goes to the conference, the union, the vision, the GC. It's used for support of the ministry now. The church is supported by the offering. The tithe is 10%. The offering is how much you want to give. The local church is supported by the offering. Now, the Bible says, will a man rob God? Yet ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and in offerings. We rob God in both. God decides the tithe, one-tenth. You decide the offering. Are you with me? It is the offering that supports the local church uh, administration. Buying the pews, painting the walls, whatever. The offering does that. Give liberally for the running of the church. God has seven days. He said the seventh is mine. But he still wants some of our time during the week. Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. You decide how much time you'll give God during the week. He has already set aside the seventh day. That's mine. No discussion. But you give him some time from the other six days. The tithe is 10. How much offering will you give? It depends on how much you love God. The problem is not the conference, it's the selfishness of the heart of man. So don't give 5% of the conference, keep five, you're stealing from God. Give God what he asked for, be generous to God's church, and God will bless you, he will bless you. 